So these are my solar panels. I've got eight 190 watt panels. I actually have, I don't know if you can see with all the glare, I've got another 24 over on the other side of the house. And these panels here are facing due north, so they're best possible collection. Got a bit of, bit of shade from all the trees really early in the morning, but being in parallel it doesn't hurt them too much. So some of them kick in earlier and sort of come online slowly, so it works well. So some of the stuff that I've bought, I've done it all as cheap as I possibly can. Um, so I got the PIP, the PIP 2424 HS, uh, 24 volt inverter. Uh, I got 50 amp DC breaker off eBay. Everything's off eBay pretty much. I shop from home because it's kind of what I do. Um, I got a whole bunch of them because I needed to hook up a light panel, so you needed seven sets. Uh, 100 amp uh, fuse. Um, don't recommend these. They're supposed to be resettable. I've completely launched one into the well the tip. It um, just melted, just absolutely melted, just killed it. No idea why. Bad workmanship, Chinese rubbish. Who knows? But for ten bucks, at least I didn't melt a fifty dollar note. I guess so. Better one next time for me batteries. Um, use one of these little serial adapters. Now I've got fifty meters of um, Cat Five cable going from my inverter up to my workshop, and then I basically um just got the cable that they provided uh, that went from the unit, little grey one RS232 port um, chopped the end off and twisted it together for the three because the, 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 the adapter is only there it is there it's just twisted together with a couple of um, um, joiners and zip tied up so it doesn't fall apart and that works well um, so we got a whole heap of um, warnings and stuff like that coming in the mail. Haven't got them yet. And I got 50 meters of that stuff. Now I'm really lucky. I didn't actually buy that off eBay. I had a very good mate that's in the solar industry hook me up, as well as a whole heap of conduit and stuff. Um, you know who you are if you're watching this video. Thank you very much. Oh, you're more than one. 7.95 a meter. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Um, so. I've also got the, um, the the unit all hooked up already. Uh, it logs in. Give me a second. I put Kaspersky on my computer, and it tends to take a little bit longer to log in. But yeah, so that's all all hooked up and running. Obviously, the the um, it's not there's no load or anything on it yet because it's not um, the AC side's not hooked in, just the DC side. But proof of concept, it all works. Got a little thing running there. You all know, you've all seen videos of how to set it up. Um, yeah, but that worked first time over 50 meters away. So this is the battery to... inverter end. We've got um, the PIP unit, MPP solar unit. Um, underneath here, we've got on the right, we've got the 50 amp DC breaker, and on the left, we've got two 232 amp breakers. So one for the inlet and um, one for the out. Of the 240 volt on that unit there. Uh, we've got the DC and stuff coming in underneath there. You can't really see much, but it's all nice and tidy and all computed up. Meets code. Then we've got the four two two five amp hour batteries up top. Now all my batteries are second hand, used, begged, borrowed, and stealed. Stolen, not steal. Um, they're 330 amp hour batteries. So again, so we've got three different types of batteries. The 330s and the 225s don't really care. Um, I run them down to 23, 22 volts every other night that I can because um, I'm not too concerned about their battery life because they're well, they're at their end of their life anyway. So another four 225 batteries that'll be going there, and another four six volt 330 amp hour batteries. Where's my finger? Down there. Once all that wood goes, so the dog doesn't dig. So that's what it is. Um, Back here we got orange conduit there goes up into my power box. Um, that'll be hooked up uh, this Friday, I hope. And then we got the SMA grid to inverter up there. So yeah, that's the that's the system. So hopefully I'll be able to show you an update video next week of it all up and running with a 240 volt attached to it, which I can't wait.